You was on. Lil' baby, let me show you that I'm different Your friends knows he tryna be up in our business I'm the one that hit your line, double back when you was finished Your ex nigga lame, can't believe you let him hit it, ayy If it's anything you need, just call on me Lost my brother and all I can do is ball for him Late night, slip and slide when it's me and you Beat it up, but I leave around three or two Don't be playing no games with a nigga, pull up some Hey, yo, what's up with the subscribers, though? We back again with another reaction. Oreo, are you trying to lick me? You missing. Say hi, Oreo. Taylor Swift fans like you. But listen, y'all. <laughs> I'm back again with another re... Oreo. I ain't gonna cap. It was one video I did. I don't know who artist it was. But somebody was like, you let your dog lick you in the face? Yes, I do. So if y'all got a problem with that, just leave the video now. Don't even stay at the reaction. Because you comment that... You gotta catch my fade. I ain't gonna front you. But today we back again with another Taylor Swift we action. And today I got vigilant shit, Taylor Swift. Uh, but a lot of people in the comments kept saying do this one. Uh, they kept saying this is a fire song, but I guess there's a backstory to it as well. Me personally, I don't know, so that's why I'm gonna do the reaction. Y'all can let me know the backstory in the comments because it's a lot of a lot of stuff about Taylor Swift that y'all know. Uh, her music is deep. It really is. It gets me thinking. That's what I love when it comes to music is thinking and just hearing something that tells a story because it gives me a purpose when I do the reaction because it's like you can talk about this. So if y'all new to the channel, press that like, comment, and subscribe. My other dog is sleeping right now. It's his bedtime. But let's get to this reaction and let's see what the song is talking about. Where's the remote? Ugh, I'm not even prepared. I'm sorry, y'all. Draw the cat eyes sharp enough to kill a man. You did some bad things, but I'm the worst of them. You did some bad things, but I'm the worst Sometimes of them. Sometimes I wonder which one will be your last lie. Ooh. Okay, I already know what this is about. They say looks can kill, and I might try. Mm. Okay, Taylor, it's a bar. A I don't trust a man. Just for yourself. She said, I don't dress for women, I don't dress for men. Lady, she been dressing for revenge. So, just off of the first few words she didn't say, it sounded like, she, you know, she was the wrong guy. And she said something about waiting for your last lie. So, basically, in reality, she's dealing with a, we call him these days, a fuckboy. And um, after a while, dealing with such thing, you feel me? You stop paying attention and stop worrying about what's going on and do your own thing. Seems like what she started doing here. And when you stop dressing for women, men, or whatever, you know, she got going on. She's talking about both sex when it comes to it. Uh, she started dressing for revenge. It's like she's trying to get back at you for all the shit that you didn't did to her. Now she's doing it back at you. And depending on how the relationship goes, as a man or a woman, y'all go pay attention to that. Whether y'all want to or not, y'all see her out there having fun or living their best life. Y'all don't like that. Like, damn. She ain't never did stuff like that when she was with me. Obviously, she didn't. But you turned her into that type of situation for her to do that. That's what I like about Taylor Swift songs. It gets you thinking. Because it can it, it, it can go either direction. That's why I got y'all in the comments to help me out. I don't start shit, but I can tell you how it ends. Mm. Don't get sad, get even. A little petty right there. So on the weekends. Mm, turn up. I don't dress for friends. Mm. Really dressed for revenge. Friends. See? <laughs> told you. She needed Let me pause it. I ain't go cap. The way it sounds, it sounds like somebody slid in the DMs with who got a, a significant other. <laughs> and she said, where well, you think she got the envelope from? She giving all the, <laughs> she letting all the secrets out now. She she letting it be known. You feel me? Don't bother her. <laughs> now, fella, it's a lot of y'all out there. You feel me? Y'all got somebody at home, but y'all still talking to other women. And then when that woman snitch y'all out, y'all sitting there acting like it's their fault. In reality, it's your fault. You should have just been loyal, stayed at home and stopped been doing the dumb stuff. Taylor's one of the women that's basically saying she gonna rat you out. <laughs> she gonna play the cards like she, oh yeah, it's GG. Say what you gotta say. Go flirt with you a little bit. But then when it's time for you to go home. <sighs> hey, yo! It's the wavy boys. What was it? <laughs> oh. 
Got you. I love the new uh, LeBron. Steve. Uh, oh. Hey, yo. It's the wavy boy. You feel me? Hey, when I tell y'all we up next, we up next. Yeah, we is. You feel me? I need all y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Look at all our videos. You know what I'm saying? We're the latest trio out right now. You know what I'm saying? Don't mess with us. You feel me? You feel me? It's the wavy boys.